What's up? This is HG News here. So I got the list for the Hackintosh once I build it, you know, once I get the money and all. This is technically 178, 179 gigabyte. All this is from Tony Mac's website, so except for the Blu-ray drive, that's a cheap one. Windows 10, as well as things I basically need. And monitor, I got 4K HDR TV and another one too. Playing controllers. I don't get something that's trusted. Oh, I kid. So what actually caused it? Five point two. Okay. Or I have to edit that. I think that gigabyte might actually have most of those have fan controllers in them anyway. Excuse me, Jesus. Ghastly gigabyte, let's see. I'm sure I'll nicely. That's pretty much, I got the things that are needed. $120, which is, you know, technically not needed, but, but it's cheaper. <coughs> Sorry for coughing so much, I got like a had a cold or something and I'm fighting it off. My lungs are doing a lot better than they were. I was having it in my lungs and you know, I'm off today, so I'm been cleaning the room and getting everything ready. RPG, that's twenty nine dollars, that's thirty. I mean if it's that technically is a faster oh good, it actually worked. So if you have 80 plus to 10 and it's going to be more cheaper for, you know, for the cost for your asshole power bill when it comes in whenever I, in the future, whenever I need it. So, so I'm thinking I can always add a network device in a different part of the video, a different video. But there are Mac compatible Wi-Fi's and most likely those components that I looked probably work because it's a motherboard that supports it. So I'm looking around fifteen hundred dollars around this price. So that's what it says. I get fifteen dollars rebates. It's still under like around three hundred eighty watts, which is not too bad. This is hard to find, especially you technically don't need two of these. I mean, eight gigs is enough for me. I don't really use a lot. I mean, it's just how it is. That is optional. I could actually get that at Walmart with my 10% if they have a version. And I think it's like 100 bucks maybe from last time for Windows 8 to upgrade. So I think it's pretty cheap. And again, there's a SSD at my store that is. About $109, but the cool thing is it's a very high performance Samsung 250 gig SSD, so that's really over 500 megs a second. So I'm I may go there to install, you know, different things like that, but it's not so big of a storage. You know, it's pretty fast, but until I get money and all that, so Thunderboard technically. I got that version and this Mac I don't have USB C and I don't think I got this, I think I got this one itself though. C won't actually work with me. But it's just stops so I won't be able to transfer data so like that's a limitation that I can actually get rid of with that Walmart hard drive since it's compatible on both. I'm able to use so you can see it's 
I got so much. This is a good brand. I used to have this when I was younger. I'm trying to think. Fish and Juice, yeah, I did have them before. My first Windows XP computer my dad bought. He built one, actually, for Christmas. And it was around a thousand bucks back then. It had very low specs compared to these specs. And it did fine, you know. We had a updates maybe here every now and then. I mean, the video card eventually went bad after I got a Windows Vista machine. I literally had Vista on a HP computer that was bought at Best Buy, and it was terrible. I mean, this is, this Mac OS seems to be using a lot of memory, and oh, what did I put in? I think I put 32 gigs. Yeah, see, so it is 32. That's double as this is, and give me a little more freedom. It's only two times more, only 64 gigs, but, you know, that's that's plenty for a decade or so, or four years. That's plenty of memory, and that's more memory than some printers that are store asking can be upgraded to. So, you know, keyboards, mouse, I got a wireless keyboard that's Mac, PC compatible. That's easily done, taken care of. So, you know, i5... So it's, so it's a 6 core, but you know, it's a little faster only, but it goes to 4 gigahertz or something, so that's plenty. This one, as I forgot. <coughs> <coughs> oh, man. And I got springtime coming, and I think they're predicting uh, Saturday was supposed to have thunderstorms. It was supposed to be 59 degrees, which is pretty crazy because I looked at it yesterday and I looked. Today is like, wow, we got a lot of warm temps coming. The first part of March is going to be in the 60s, quite literally, like low 60s, like 61, 63, somewhere around those bouts. And we're going to be warming up. We got, they were doing inventory tomorrow, Wesley. And they're getting soil and all that ready and, you know, all the plants you need. It's still technically winter until March 21st, and then technically it's spring. But, you know, until then, they cover those things up. But, ain't too bad. You know, just make sure the trees don't actually get too cold, you know. We still are going to have cold temps for at least another month. I mean, like I've seen, usually late March, if it's a good spring, we have like 70 to 80 degree weather. And April is where it really got warm last year. And before that, it was just freezing. I mean, early April was still a little cold, but March was like winter last year. And it was awful up here in this state of Illinois, and it just how it is. I mean, our weather wasn't as good last year. We weren't as warm in the spring, and then we went directly to summer heat, and that was just awful. So they're saying we're gonna. I check every day on the Athlete Weather website for up to ninety days. How much? The weather is changing. I'm not sponsored by them or any of these companies, you know. But I do check the weather, see what I have to wear, and yeah, I mean it's gonna be warm. It's gonna be for sure, but it won't last. I mean we're gonna be going down like 30s or something like that. So we'll get from the south wind or southeast something like that. All right. Yeah, 59, heavy rain and thunderstorm. 25th of this month, must be a high of 50. 60 on the 8th of March. Then we close that on the 12th, it will have p.m. tea storms, showers, basically 61 degrees. Yeah, we're going to be going early in the month in the spring weather. Right now, this month is... Some snow today, folks have a chance. But right now, it doesn't say that. It's from the east, 9 miles per hour, goes 18, as it says. But most of the time, when we have these warm ups, they happen at night, and our temperature goes up when we do get that warm. It's not very often, but when it happens in the winter, it does cause our sinuses to mess up so alright it's gonna get me to 1 p.m. 
It won't let me see Saturday yet. And the hours that have been the next day or two. <coughs> so, yeah. I Oh, I got to pay my mom. I to get $100 once I get paid Thursday. And pay off medical that I probably have to pay a lot on first. Because I owe, let's see, I'm thinking around 12 grand this year or more. In fact, for sure, now there's 6,000 nets. Plus the bin it was used last June, so we technically hadn't paid any because we thought we could get a grant to cover it. We still haven't had the luck with it, so it was like $6,000 that we still get notices and we still need to find a way for them to cover the medicine. Things like that are going to add up. The dentist, he's trying to pay off the dentist who worked on my teeth last year. To remove wisdom teeth, two of them. It went good. So my hemophilia is not as bad as it was. It's still, I still have the disease regardless. But I haven't had a bleed in the face for a while and it needs to stay that way. Because it, it, it adds up. And there's no way I could have prevented that bleed in the first place. So it's something that you... I don't make enough fat grades, so that's why I do believe eternally. And if I can make a hackintosh like the I Mac, like the Mac Pro back in the day with that chrome finish and all that nice steel, when they had the IBM and the Intel, you know, had the 12 core, that big tower Apple used to sell with the 12 cores inside. I would love to do that, but with the hemophilia wrists, and I'd be sure, guaranteed to hurt myself. Um, that's not an option, I'm afraid. I would love to do it, but even with no skills or even some skills, I'm, it just ain't worth the risk. I mean, I got a chance of bleeding and taking medicine, and that adds up costs, which delays this and things like that. So, you know, I think I'll just go with a case, a regular PC case, and say it's, it's good enough. You know, you don't want to hurt, I don't want to hurt myself and... I'm always coughing at times. Anyway, you know, sometimes I get lucky and I don't guess to get hurt. You know, it just doesn't occur. So I've been through those routes, those blessings in the past. You know, I was, I was like, this was like 2009. It was like springtime, and I actually passed out, went backwards from the inhaler when I was sick with sinus, and literally busted my head in the back and. They did a cat skin in Carmadel and there was no blood, nothing like that. And I was very lucky back in the day. I was in high school still, but it's junior. That was that the weather app going off. I don't see technically anything different. It just they constantly update and don't change nothing. It's 3 p.m. so yeah, I was lucky back in those days. There was, we made sure that everything was stable and it went fine. It just it occurred, and that was the first time I ever done it, and that's the last time I done it. So, you know, I had that where my heart rate dropped, and it happened. So, I was there for most of the day in Carmadale. I was, I think it might have been April or May, most likely April or March, early. More like the springtime weather that causes my sinuses to mess up, and thankfully nothing happened. I would have been completely different if that bleed did occur. But you know, we took the we took we made sure that I was fine. Did a CAT scan to make sure that there was technically no damage, and you know, the Lord does miracles at times. You know, in my life and past and. You know, sometimes life doesn't go the correct way as it should. You know, it's how we all are at times. I am basically so. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like below. I see you.